Hello and welcome back to FX Suite. Today we're going to take a look at Sandbox or a Sand. And before we dive deeper into the technicals, I want to direct your attention to the FX Suite YouTube channel. If you enjoy the content that we put out and more stay updated to the hottest trends in the crypto markets, please head on over to the YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon. You can follow us on Twitter at FX is Crypto. So back to Sand. So the last time we discussed this, uh, I mentioned the, the, uh, it, the up, uptrend but the upside for SAM has been limited due to this resistance level here. As you can see, the price got rejected on, excuse me, right, so on 26 December, again on 9th Feb. So far, two attempts to move higher has been foiled by this declining trend line. As for the downside, you see this uh, daily demand zone here extending from roughly $2.3 to $3. Let me just share. Right, so far it's it's the downswing or the selling pressure has been absorbed by this demand zone uh, pretty well. And as you can see here, the, the price was consolidating already in between 20th Feb and 28th Feb. Uh, but the consolidation, uh, like the tightening of the range kind of got more severe as price uh, went into the first and the second week of March. And finally, in the third week, Finally, the second week, right, on 16th, which is yesterday, uh, sand ran at roughly 19% in a single day. So this kind of suggests that the, the volatility is coming back into the market. And I, I still feel like the upside for sand is like a 22% uh, gain that I see, which is roughly around $3.8. But if you, if we kind of get a close above this, con this confluence here of the $3.8, then I see more upside for SAN. Right, that said, I also want to talk about what would happen if Sandbox produces a daily count to close below $2.3. That would obviously invalidate this daily demand and would also produce a lower low, in which case I'm expecting the price to head down to 1.8 and 1.5. Uh, this is the range where I'm expecting price to kind of form like some sort of a base around here, right? Kind of similar to what happened down here. Could happen here if we get a really close below this demand zone's lower limit which is 2.3 dollars so unless this happens like and the price continues going higher uh, and we get a really close above 3.8 dollars then i definitely see sand heading back to 5.8 probably even six dollars like yeah, i'm not saying it's going to close above six dollars it could, it could wick up to six dollars so there's there's a good chance uh, of uh, exponential gains if sandbox manages to produce like a higher high about four dollars roughly 3.8 dollars so that's pretty much it for sand from a conservative standpoint upside capital 3.8 dollars from an optimist standpoint uh it could go all the way up to six dollars as for the downside the daily demand zone's lower limit which is 2.3 dollars is uh is currently like the lower limit if we get it close below that the bullish thesis that i just explained kind of gets invalidated so in that case, you can expect Sandbox to head down to 1.8 and $1.5, where the next potential base could form. That's pretty much it for Sand. If you enjoyed this analysis, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.